Nelson, standing next to me as fellow senior offensive lineman J.C. Kerr. And uh, tonight we have the privilege and honor of talking about uh, our offensive line coach, Mr. Bell. In addition to being my coach this year, he was my coach sophomore year, is my track and field coach for discus and shot put, and is my teacher for AP U.S. government. And I say I know him quite well um, at this point. <laughs> There are a few coaches, aside from the other coaches on this staff, that work as hard as Mr. Bell or cares deeply about the game of football and his individual athletes. He spends countless hours of his free time looking at techniques and drills to bring to each and every practice to improve each and every lineman so that our entire offensive line and thus our team can get better. He is loyal, honest, and genuine. Um, he'll be upfront with you about your role on the team, and he is truthful when telling you uh, or giving you advice about how to improve as a person or as a his candidness, um, his passion, and his dedication are inspiring as a player and have helped me grow to become a better young man under his leadership. Um, before I can conclude this speech, I'd really just like to say thank you for every opportunity that you've ever given me. Obviously, as an undersized lineman, being able to start this year was such a blessing, and you, you didn't overlook me just because of my size, and I'm just extremely grateful for that. You gave me the ability to play with the best team in the state, alongside the best teammates in the state who I'm lucky enough to call my friends. And every Friday night under those lights, I was able to play along with you guys to try, my fellow, my fellow Rams, to try and prove to you that we love and care for you as much as you do us. Um, so for that, I'm forever grateful. I'll always cherish you and this entire team. So thank you for that. And with that, I'll turn it over to Jake. Speaking of other size linemen, <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Casey here, and I weigh 190 pounds. And uh, looking around, I am near certain that I am the only player who played solely on JV this year and is speaking tonight. No, I don't ask for your sympathy. Actually, I ask the opposite. Watching from the sidelines this year was nothing short of a blessing. I had the opportunity to watch these boys as they developed and matured, each finding and fitting their roles on Friday night. These boys, these men, are family. And family. That's a real special thing. I was able to take a step back, watching this tight-knit group of young men grow up right in front of my eyes. It's crazy how fast it goes. So, Coach Bell, from the bottom of my heart, from the hearts of these boys that you turned into men, we thank you. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for being a teacher, a friend, and a father within our family. This season was truly unforgettable. The lessons of selflessness and eternal gratitude that I learned that were thrust upon me this season as I watched on Friday nights were unparalleled. So every week, I played Saturday mornings with clear eyes and love in my heart. Love for the game, love for the program, love for the best coach I've ever had and ever will have. So seniors, Aaron, Austin, Jack, Sam, Matthew, I hope you guys are as grateful as I am for this incredible season. And juniors, Charlie, Cole, Dan, Derek, Mark, Nahayden, Nick, Victor, I hope you guys are aware of how truly blessed you are to be under the tutelage of Coach is genuinely great as Coach Bell. And Galgano, these last few years are yours. You're a great player. Don't take this man for granted. And Coach Bell, it's, it's been a ride. It's funny how I created this whole speech to really say two words. Two words of thank you. Team Mom, we can't thank you enough for everything that you do. Uh, banquets, team dinner, study table, it's ridiculous. I don't know how you do it, so thank you for that. We've got a up here for you, uh, flowers and a mystery bag. <laughs> Thank you guys.